I'll never forget a moment in the summer of 2003, two days into a seven week meticulously planned cross country driving trip. This was the pre ways days when an atlas and physical maps spread everywhere, gave my living room the look of a war room in the months preceding the journey. From almost the first hour after we had departed our Baltimore home, our car had been shaking and clearly was breaking down. We arrived in Chicago on a Friday afternoon and summarily were informed by the local mechanic that our transmission was busted and we would need to remain there for up to a week while they replaced it. Walking minutes before Shabbat into the room where we were staying, I burst into tears, aware that all of my careful planning was now effectively out the window and the trip would need a complete reworking. This week, we read about the infamous spies. Moshe spent, sent 12 men, one representative from each tribe, to scout out the land of Israel ahead of the Jews' entrance. Ten of these spies returned with alarmist reports, causing a panicked frenzy among the people. Only two, Yoshua and Kali, held out and imparted an optimistic evaluation of their promised homeland. Interestingly, tradition tells us that that night was the ninth of Av, Tisha B'Av, and actually foreshadowed that day as one of terrible calamity in Jewish history, on which both temples were later destroyed and many other tragedies occurred. The sages explained that this linkage between the spies and future days of mourning was God's way of saying, you have cried for no reason, based on exaggerated dire reports about Israel from the spies, on this night, in the future, on this day, you will have ample reason to cry. At first glance, this seems like a strange and even punitive response from God. Because the Jews cried once without solid reason, they would forever be condemned to a day of pain and tragedy? Is God somehow taking revenge on us for actions that took place thousands of years ago? Perhaps God is communicating a lesson that applies for all time, and in fact, each and every day. The need for perspective. When the Jews complained in the desert in a manner that was not only unjustified, but actually opposite of how they should have reacted, it demonstrated their difficulty in calibrating responses to events in an appropriate manner. Sometimes we cry over the tiniest disappointments or even an experience that we may later come to appreciate. Meanwhile, at other times, we fail to be moved by events that should bring us to tears. On Tisha B'Av, God essentially is telling us that we will, he will demonstrate what real calamity looks like so that we will recognize when to feel authentic sadness and when to place our challenges in context. We likewise will learn what warrants celebration and joy. In short, we will get what truly matters in life. What I didn't know, but at least should have considered on that Friday afternoon all those years ago, was that our car breaking down actually triggered a series of events that ultimately had a great impact on my life and led to the position I am in today. A much longer story for another time. Thankfully, I was not later punished for my lack of perspective, but I frequently recall and feel ashamed at how I mourned that which actually fueled my own redemption. In that same light, it is fascinating to note that Tisha B'Av, this saddest day on the Jewish calendar, is also considered a day of eventual redemption, as tradition holds that the Messiah will be born on it. As if God is telling us, once we get the memo, once we learn perspective, we can then understand how even the most difficult events may transform into salvation. Shabbat Shalom.